Hey, hey guys. guys, welcome back to the channel. We are now in Bangkok, Thailand. And for the next four days, we are going to explore some of Bangkok's most famous attractions. And of course, indulge in some local Thai street food as much as we can eat. Let's get started. Let's go. Let's go. Chinatown is lit. This is really fun, guys. We've ordered a bunch of food. This is just round one. Okay, don't look down. <laughs> Good morning, morning guys, we are in Bangkok right now. We actually flew in last night during midnight and we got a good night's sleep. Today we're going to start fresh. First things first, we're going to go get breakfast. Yay. Right, the place we are going to is a restaurant that's about 7 minutes walk from the Sapan Taksin BTS station. A tiny lane to breakfast area. So really famous spot over here. That's a queue right next to us. The dishes came really quickly. Our first meal of the day, khao kham. I've ordered half a braised pork leg, and the other one is the pork meat with some skin. It has the pickled vegetable at the side. Right. Super hungry since last night. We're gonna dig in. I mean, it's so tender. And the skin, it just melts like butter. Wow, definitely recommended this spot. What's left is just the bones now. <laughs> Amazing first meal of the day. We're gonna finish up before we head to the next place. All right, that was a really hearty breakfast. I'm ready for the day. And we're gonna make our way to the pier and take a boat to the Grand Palace. First boat leaves at 9 a.m. We're gonna hurry. <laughs> Okay. We made it in time, but uh... Oh, well, we haven't got the tickets yet. Yeah, we need to find the ticket booth. This kind of feels like an amazing race. <laughs> we really made here just in time. It's quite a rush. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a double-decker boat. It is hot. You do have a choice to pick whether you want it to be at the outdoor area or... There's also a downstairs level yeah. which is shaded. It's actually quite breezy up here. We're now on board the Chao Praya tourist boat. It goes along the Chao Praya river and stops at 11 piers near different attractions. We bought a one-way ticket to the Grand Palace, but they also offer an all-day river pass that allows you to hop on and off as many times as you like from 8.30 a.m. to 7.15 p.m. Oh my god, check out the background. This is incredible. Just got a new hairdo. <laughs> We've made it to the Ta Chang Pier, which is the star for the Grand Palace. Yeah, you could also take a long boat. It's more like a private tour. There's a strict dress code for visiting the Grand Palace, but just in case, there are plenty of shops around that have what you need. That's the Grand Palace. We're gonna head there, but there's actually a tunnel that is air conditioned. We're gonna use that. <laughs> So cool, it's a good escape from the heat. Oh, it's a pretty short tunnel. Basically what the tunnel did is it helped us cross the main road in a very stylish way. <laughs> there are actually many gates to the Grand Palace and we're gonna go to the first one that's closest to us. It is 9.30 right now and you can totally see the crowd is just pouring in. So cool! Right, we are in the palace grounds right now. We haven't redeemed our tickets yet. I actually bought them online 
directly from the palace website. There are a bunch of equipment that you cannot bring into the palace. Gimbals, tripods, microphones. So if you're a vlogger, do take note of that. But other than that, they're all good. We still get to bring in our cameras. Let's go explore. Let's go get into the palace. Really beautiful this place. We have an entire map and I don't really know where to start. Let me just go with the flow. The Grand Palace is a huge complex of buildings that served as the home and office of the king and his court for over 240 years. It is still a functioning palace today, hosting some royal ceremonies from time to time. We are simply taken away by the stunning architecture and decorations of the palace. I really love this palace. It has a very nice blend of European architecture and the Thai style. It's just so majestic, very unique. We've just came from over there just now, that's the entrance, and we've made kind of like a loop, and that would be the exit over there. came up from the Queen Siri Kids Textile Museum. Very interesting, I love the details. There's no photo or video allowed inside, so it's worth checking out. And also, the air condition. <laughs> there are some cafes near the exit and entrance. We're gonna go stop by one because it's super hot and we're so thirsty. Just done our tour at the Grand Palace and now we're gonna go head for lunch but we want to take a little bit of a sitting road to go for lunch and we decided to take the tuk-tuk and there's this app called Move Me that allows you to book the electric tuk-tuk which is kind of like a new thing over here in Bangkok. We're gonna try using the app today and see how it goes. Alright so we've booked the Move Me tuk-tuk and the only issue that we have is that there are not that many tuk-tuks around that's using this app. So we had to wait about like 25 minutes for our tuk-tuk to arrive. There are actually quite a number of the regular tuk-tuks around the street, which I think you can bargain, but do look out for scans. But since we're bad at bargaining, we don't want to try our luck. That's why we prefer using the app. We're on a tuk-tuk! This is an electric tuk-tuk and it's relatively quiet, super spacious. Sightseeing time, guys. This is fun, definitely you should try riding a tuk-tuk. I think one of the best places to do it is probably at the Grand Palace area because the roads are huge, there's a lot of sights to see. It's kind of like a little tour using a tuk-tuk. That's our tuk-tuk ride. Now we have a little walk to Kim Lom Chom Sapan, which is just straight ahead. A minute walk. Oh, there. There's a sign. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. That's what, that's what I'm reading. <laughs> We're now at Kim Lom Chom Sapan to have lunch. Why we choose this restaurant is because we're at the pier, we're next to the river and you can see the Rama 8 bridge from here. It's a very nice view. It's actually more popular for dinner but it's open for lunch as well. And we're here. Ordered three dishes. We have this thin squid with lime. It looks like there's two squid on it. It's kind of huge. Then we have this shrimp with Thai herbs. That looks good. And we have some crab fried rice. It's so hot, I just have to order a coconut. Puri got himself Thai tea. He drank some already. Cheers. Squid looks good. Look how huge it is. Mm, so fresh. Mm, it's so earthy, herbally. It's a very nice appetizer, snack. So good. Have some fried rice too. Lunch was excellent. Very nice environment. Pretty romantic too, I would say. Oh. <laughs> right, we've just booked ourselves a grab car. We're gonna go back to the hotel and take a little break before heading out to the next itinerary of the day. We're back. 
and we are back at our hotel. So last night we checked in here around midnight. So today we're going to just show you a little bit around the hotel. We are staying in Heaven Mat, Silong, Bangkok. Our room is on the 8th floor. The top floor is where the pool and the rooftop bar is. This is our room for four nights. It comes with a queen-size bed, air conditioning, TV right in front of the bed, sink right next to the bed, ensuite shower, and toilet. It comes with a mini bar, a safe, towels are provided, and the best part about this hotel would be the location. We are actually right next to the BTS station. And right across us is the Mahanakon Tower, also famously known for the Mahanakon Skywalk. And a few doors down is 7-Eleven. Okay, so we're gonna rest up and we'll see you after this. All fresh and ready to explore some more, we are heading to Ong Ang Walking Street. Look at all these walkways in Bangkok, they are literally above all of the traffic. Okay, we are here at Ong Ang Walking Street, a lot of street art. The Ong Ang Walking Street is along a canal, and on both sides of the canal, there are some eateries, dessert shops cafes, very chill area to just hang out. Most and of the things open after 6 p.m. This walking street is only open on the weekends on Fridays to Sundays. After spending about half an hour exploring, we are now going to make our way to Chinatown for dinner. Alright guys, we are at Nai Mong Hoi Tot. They are popular for their oyster omelette. We've ordered the crispy oyster omelette. It this is medium size. It doesn't look that huge <laughs> for two of us. Oh, look at that oyster though. Like for real, it's huge. Oh, the omelette is super crispy. And when I bite into that oyster, it just bursts, literally bursts with oyster goodness. It's really good. Oh my god, I've never seen oysters this huge. According to Stu, this is just a snack. We still have much more things to eat in Chinatown. Chinatown is lit. Yeah, so, so many foods, so many stalls. <laughs> Chinatown is seriously really busy at night. There's food everywhere and also lots and lots of people. Maybe it's because it's the weekend. We're now at the other end of Chinatown and we found the shop selling dessert. And here we are taking a break from Chinatown itself. We got this kampolo. Yeah. It's actually a Chinese dessert. It's full of ice on top which is perfect. She did ask us to mix. This looks great. Treasures at the bottom. Let's give this a try. Mm. Oh my god, it's so good. Super refreshing and herbally at the same time. One very unique thing though, you can add noodles to this dessert and make it a meal. It's very interesting. We're done with dessert and now we're off for dinner. Which is just three minutes away from the other shop. Are we eating too much? <laughs> that's a queue, <laughs> so we don't have to eat so quickly from the previous meal. I guess that's the good news. We are currently at Night Egg Kuei Chap and we have ordered exactly just that, the famous Kuei Chap. To go along with it, we also have the crispy pork belly and braised pork ribs. I'm going to try out what they're most famous for, the kuei chap. Kuei chap is the roll noodles. These are like pork parts. Mm. It's mostly savoury, like a pork bone kind of soup with lots of pepper. So it's a bit spicy. Really heartwarming dish to have. My turn to try. 
although it's a forky dish, it's not too heavy, it's kind of light. It's a good supper dish, I would say. Pork belly is so chunky. Mm, that crispy pork belly is really good. The queue seems to never end. The crowd just keeps coming in. A lot of people, even though it's already like 9 p.m. now. We're gonna finish up here in Yawarat and call it a night. We'll see you guys tomorrow morning. Good night, guys. Good morning guys, Good it's morning. day two. Today we are going to go to a floating market not too far away from Bangkok City. It's Klong Lat Mayong and we're going to take a grab to get there. It takes about half an hour. We've just reached the floating market. Oh, smell the food. It smells so good. Let's just start exploring. There's so much food surrounding us. So hard to pick. Everything looks good. It smells really good. Okay, we've got a bowl of kanom jin. We have to find a place to sit. We've ordered a bunch of food. We've got four dishes. It's not too many for now. This one is green curry kanom jin. It's one of my favorite dish. So good. We've also got the Thai crispy pancakes. Yeah. It's so light and fluffy and crispy at the same time. This is just round one. Everything we order is really good. Can't wait to eat some more. But we're gonna finish up here first before we head for round two. This market is actually pretty long. We can actually walk along the canal and uh, actually more food. They also have tables next to the canal. Uh, we bought our tickets, now we gotta wait for the boat to come. We safely got onto the boat. We've just reached the first stop. There are going to be, I think, two stops for this boat tour. Let's go explore a little bit. It's kind of nice, like a cute little market going on here. Around me is the floating market and behind is actually a temple. We are going to head back to the boat now. our second stop it is the orchid farm we're gonna walk around uh, 20 minutes each stop it's a really huge orchids it's not a very big orchid farm okay. it's a very quick stop probably about five minutes Right, we are at the other side. It's much more cool in here because all the action is in the other side of the market. You see more souvenir shops. There's a cafe over here too, kind of like a hidden cafe. Alright guys, this is round two of eating. We've ordered quite a bunch of stuff. What we have here, Thai fish cake. It looks nice. Fish cake is very flavorful, nice and firm. Very appetizing. Nah, what is this? A homok. There are few flavors. We've got the fish. It's a nice bite. Mm. It's soft, nice and fishy in a good way. It's getting spicy, a little bit peppery. And one dish that looks really interesting is this glass noodles with prawn. Four pieces of prawn, it's 150 baht for this. Mmm, that is so good. We got my prawn nicely peeled. Mm. Alright, we're going to wrap it all up with some classic Thai dessert. 
coconut ice cream, I've got myself some toppings, which is the peanuts and also sticky rice. Cheers, guys. Ah, oh, so soothing. Perfect for a hot day like this. It's about 3 something now. The crowd is actually making their way back. We are going to go head back to the hotel now. It's been a long day at the clothing market. to Asia Tech. It is a free shuttle boat. It's a little bit drizzling right now. Hopefully the weather clears up later. The Asia Tech shuttle actually comes every half an hour. The moment we reach at the pier, the shuttle just left. So we had to wait for another 30 minutes. Asia this is actually our second time in Asia Tech. Asia Tech is always a fun place to visit, and despite the rain, it is just as vibrant and lively as ever. It's a very long queue to the Guinea Cruise, I think. After walking around for a bit, we stumble upon this cool bar called Sail to the Moon where they have this giant moon and live performance playing some Thai tunes. Cheers guys! It's really pouring right now. We're waiting for the shuttle to come. That's it for day two. We'll see you guys tomorrow morning. Good night, guys. We haven't had our dinner yet, so we are popping by a 7 Eleven to get a quick bite. We both got these cheese sandwiches with different flavors and had them heated up for us. It's so good, totally recommended. Cheers. <laughs> good morning, guys. Good morning. We're now walking across to the Mahanakon Skywalk, which is just across from our hotel. This is the King Power Mahanakon Tower, and right above is the Mahanakon Skywalk where we are heading to. Alright, we got in. Now, this is like going into a club. Alright, we'll come to a little bit. Need to make sure there's a glass panel here. It looks so clear. Is that Chow Phraya River? Yeah. Yeah, it is. Wow. You can see the entire city skyline of Bangkok. It's such an incredible view. The first stop is the 74th floor. This is the observation deck. The wheels are breathtaking. I think I get enough of this view. mesmerized by the view. They have these really tall glass panels which makes you feel very secure. It's like a cafe up here that you can order some drinks. We'll check out the cafe later but let's go to the glass panel where the excitement is. Okay, I'm up first. 
<laughs> okay, don't look down. <laughs> The view is insane from up here. I, I was scared for a while, but I trust the glass panel. <laughs> okay, I guess it's enough. Oh my god! <laughs> it's, <okay. laughs> it's scary and exciting at the same time. Alright, are you ready? Yeah. You don't look nervous at all. It feels like you're flying a little bit. Definitely done nothing like this before. This is so cool. The views here, breathtaking even from here. Wow. I guess we're done here. Yes. That was really fun. Today is a Monday, it's not too crowded. We haven't had breakfast. Let's go check out what's there at the cafe. We've got ourselves a mango mocktail, Belgian chocolate ice cream. It's 11 now. It's supposed to be hot, but today it has a good weather. We're gonna enjoy the dessert, the view, and the sun maybe. <laughs> This is 314 meters tall and this is the highest point you can actually stand on in Thailand. Up here you can get an unobstructed 360 degree view of the entire Bangkok. Also a view in the toilet. We spent about one and a half hours exploring the top of the Mahanakon Tower and now it's time to go. Let's make our way down. So that's the end of our tour. This is a gift shop. Next in our itinerary, we're gonna have some lunch at the boat noodle place. But right, it's gonna rain. Let's go, let's go. <laughs> it's been raining these few days in Bangkok. The weather forecast has been unfortunately very accurate, but we are still going to make our way to the boat noodles, which is at the Victory Monument. Let's go. We have made it to the Boat Noodle Alley. This shop is called Payak Boat Noodle. You can either sit next to the canal, which is outdoor, or they also have the air conditioned room. Our noodles are here. We've got five bowls. This is pork, pork, beef, beef, and tom yum, sweet sour noodles. Can't wait, let's dig in. So it's a very cute small size, which we could easily go for a few bowls of this. Easily one or two bite of noodles, and you're done. Mm. The soup is really thick, very rich, porky, salty. It's not spicy at all, so you can easily add in the chilies. Mm. So much better with the chili. This is so good. I've ordered myself a classic Thai drink. It's called the Oliang, also known as the black iced coffee. Cheers, guys. It's fragrant. So good. I'm going to add in some crispy pork cracklings in there. Mmm, so good. Alright, we're going to finish up and we'll see you after this. The lunch was really filling. We both had a total of 8 bowls. Totally recommended. We're gonna go for a little stroll at some mall, probably Siam Paragon and Icon Siam, the, the brand new mall that we've never been to yet. We're going mall hopping. The next mall is Icon Siam. We take the shuttle boat to the mall. The mall is literally just across the river. 
It takes about 5 minutes to reach the mall by the shuttle boat. We are here now at Icon Sayam. One of the highlights of Icon Siam is this floating market food court. Imagine an air conditioned floating market or a night market setting. Well, I'm really impressed by how many local snacks and food they have over here in this mall. We came by this souvenir shop that sells magnets and miniature things. We just have to buy ourselves a fridge magnet. There's some mango sticky rice and yet we haven't had our own mango sticky rice for real which means it's time for some mango sticky rice for real let's go compared to the floating market yesterday things here are a little bit more pricier well about double the price but i guess you get the comfort of the air conditioning over here all right we got mango sticky rice mango smoothie we go get some more first before we start eating told me there's a floating market inside the mall. I didn't have much expectation but this definitely blew me away. I did not expect it to be so lively. It's full of people, it's packed, yes it's touristy, prices are on the higher end but very lovely place, it's very artistic. Just love the vibe here. So I've got myself mango sticky rice. This is the large one, it's 150 baht. One of my favorite Thai dessert. So good. I'm seriously impressed with how big the scale of this mock floating market is. Let's go explore some more of this mall. Right at level six or seven, you can see this waterfall-like kind of display. Oh my God, that open. <laughs> wow, look at that! Alright, I guess we're done here in Icon Sayam. Let's go on to the next thing. I'll take the day another train to go back to our hotel because the boat is just taking too long. We're going to Zoom Sky Bar. It's located at JC Kevin Hotel. Yeah, we're going to the 38th floor. Check out this view, guys. Bangkok at night. We've ordered two signature cocktails from this bar. This is called the Prestige. There's some gold flakes in there. <laughs> it's a nice tiramisu cake. Cheers, guys. It's a pretty nice way to spend an evening over here. Love the vibes. The views at night is totally different compared to the morning. So I say, yeah, I would recommend checking out the city skyline on the rooftop bar at night. It started to drizzle, so we're going down to level 38. Right now we're at Lake Seafood. It is nearby a hotel. It is also just across the Mahanakwan Skywalk or just right in front of the Chongnong Sea train station. It is super convenient. I am screaming internally. It looks so homey and looks so delicious. Can't wait to eat this. So we've ordered the Khao Pak Pu, which is the crab fried rice. We have the Thai style omelette and we have the Tom Yum Seafood and some vegetables. This is the morning glories with chili. I'm gonna try the crab fried rice first. Look at the amount of crab on top. The crab chunks are really fresh. 
so good. Okay. Look at that tom yum. It's a big seafood, so we have prawns, we have squid. Mmm, it's not too spicy. Sweet, sour. Everything that we ordered here today is very much a very homey kind of meal. It's going to be perfect for us to close the night. And we'll see you guys tomorrow morning. Good night, guys. We are heading to breakfast. This is a famous porridge spot in Silom. It's just a three minute walk from the PTS station. It seems to be rush hour right now in Bangkok. There are lots of street foods and people are just packing their breakfast right as they get to work and also many choices too. We are here at the Chok Prince. This is one very famous spot for porridge. They've ordered our dish and we are waiting for it right now. We managed to squeeze in one more dish before we head to the airport. What I love about the porridge in Thailand is that they always put it half boiled or raw egg into the porridge. We ordered the one with pork meat. Mm. Very simple and delicious breakfast to have. They ordered this small bowl. They also have a bigger one. Oh, wow, the rice is very creamy. Let's try the chakwe. Mm, the texture-wise, it's really more like a donut. No wonder they call it a Chinese donut. Really good, really good. I would definitely recommend coming to this spot and have breakfast. Alright guys, that's it for our trip in Bangkok this round. There is a lot more to explore in Bangkok. And so much more to eat. We'll definitely be back for more. So if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel if you like to follow us on our travel and food videos. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, Bye guys. guys! We're done here in Bangkok. We'll see you the next round. Four days is definitely not enough to explore all of Bangkok. We'll definitely be back. So much more food to eat too.